Good evening everyone and welcome to the presentation. My name is Brandon Ruiz Vasquez. I'm a robotics engineer at Microchip Technologies. In today's presentation, I'm going to cover the microchip development tools to make your life easier as a hardware developer. More precisely, the following topics. Development difficulties, legacy peripheral libraries, microchip libraries for application, MPLAB code configurator, MPLAB Express IDE, and MPLAB MinD. First of all, development difficulties. As a developer, you get into the trouble of reading extensive documentation, creating your own libraries of application, application management, resource management of your microcontroller, power management of your microcontroller, and signal integrity. Now, how to solve this problem? First of all, we have the MPLAB X IDE with the legacy peripheral libraries, which include the SPI protocol, I2C protocol, analog to digital converter, ward communication, PWM, and internal interrupts. In addition, we created the microchip libraries for applications. Just as legacy peripheral libraries, all the configurations are already done to make the development more efficient. This includes the USB protocol, memory disk drive, communication, encryption algorithms, MyY protocol, TCP IP, and smartphone communication. You may think that managing so many libraries in the same implementation becomes complex quickly, not with MPLAB code configurator. This application can manage all your microcontroller's peripherals in a graphical interface. Here you can manage IOs, communication, speed, memory management, and much more. With a single click of a button, you can activate or deactivate any peripheral you so desire. But what if you don't have access to your computer? All the features previously mentioned are available in our online environment, MPLAB Express IDE. It has the same capabilities as previous tools, online environment, and it's easy to access. You just need to make a completely free account on Microchip and you're ready for development. Now a demonstration of the MPLAB Express IDE. We just have to enter the following web page, mplabexpress.microchip.com slash mplabcloud slash IDE. On the top left of the screen, we click on the box to add a new project. To start, we select the standalone project, click on next. On this window, we select our microcontroller. In this case, I'll add pick 18F4550. Finally, choose the name of the project. It is recommended to name it with something that represents your project. In this case, it's demo. Right now, I have the project done. Here I have your source files and your header files. I already have a header file prepared for this, so we just right click it, import file, and then choose the file. You can drag it or just click on choose files. I'm gonna drag it, select this one, drag it, and then you press finish. In this case I already have it right here, this is the whole file, then you go to source files, right click, new file, C main file, click on next and you name it however you desire. Go to the new file, I included the file that I just uploaded, then I start coding. First we initialize the port B as an output, then we start our firmware. We read the lat register, then we assign it to itself but as a complement. Then we do a delay on microseconds on 100 microseconds and the project is done. Now, to compile the project, we select the hammer, we click on it, and it starts building the project. As we can see, we have a successful build. Okay, how do we download the project we just compiled? We click on this icon right here. Now we have our hex file. This file, we can use it to program our microcontroller directly into the chip. The last tool I'm going to discuss today is the MPLAB MINDI. Once you finish all your software development, you get into the hardware section. You can easily do signal analysis for your components to guarantee their functionality. This tool allows you to design power supply and signal conditioning circuits. You can make steady state, AC and transient analysis. And you can do body plots and response waveforms. Here's a demonstration of what MPLAB MINDI can do. This is the start window. As we can see, it is possible to add new schematics circuits and open previously made files. On the left side there is a project manager where you can view all the files that compose your project. On the right side we can see the tutorial section where all the instructions and manuals for the MPLAB MINDI are. For this demonstration we will go to examples, symmetric, microchip, linear amplifiers, active, active filters, operational amplifiers inverting inverting summing amplifier this is our demo circuit 
Now we just press the run button on the top of the window. As we can see, it's running on AC analysis. On the right side, we have the results of the simulation. This helps the development process and grants an almost identical result that you will get in the real circuit. In conclusion, Microchip offers faster development, easy configuration, better customer support, and flexibility. Thank you for your time. If you have any further questions, please contact us at microchip.com.